Good morning, Chase. All US stocks rallied uh, into month end on Friday. The VIX fell below 16 too. So I finished off a, a volatile and uh, ultimately positive month for global equity markets. It's despite news of another bank collapse uh, in the US on Friday with First Republic Bank um, looking like it's going to be taken over by federal authorities. Um, Dow Jones had its best month since January, rallying over 2.5% in April, just showing that that risk appetite has, has come back on some strong earnings. And I think the belief that um, central banks are coming to the end of their rate hiking cycle. But in the week ahead, a massive one for central banks. We've got the uh, RBA on Tuesday. Um, 26 out of 34 economists are thinking they're going to hold the, the rates market's pricing in 100% chance they're going to hold. So any, um, any volatility from that meeting will come in the statement afterwards, whether there is a hint of, of this being a long pause or, or this is the top, uh, or further hikes are possible down the track. Um, FOMC, big one on Wednesday, the US uh, Federal Reserve will be setting rates. Um, they're expected to raise 25 basis points. That's priced in about 80% Fed fund futures. So um, again, with the accompanying statement, I think is where most of the action will come for Forex traders, whether the Fed hints that uh, this is it, uh, the market's pricing in, there's one, this is this will be it, and then they'll pause uh, and, and possibly cut later in the year. But what the Fed comes out with in their statement will um, have a big part of how the market's price in their future actions. Thursday, ECB, so the European Central Bank will release their rate decision. Now the market's pricing in 25 basis points, 100%, and a little bit towards the 52. So up until recently, 50 was the uh, the base case, but with some of the banking stress going on, the market is now favoring a 25 basis point as a bit of a compromise hike to the doves. Euro US, you shouldn't see too much reaction on this unless they do surprise with a 50 or, or come out with an extremely hawkish statement. And we do have um, a lot of other news out of the US, especially this week. So always look out for non-farm payrolls on Friday is always an exciting one for FX traders that were looking for some volatility.